Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl video here on uh, the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fill up your Pokedex once you finish the game. Um, obviously, you need to fill up the, uh, the, you know, the region decks in order to unlock the national decks, which is going to unlock, you know, other Pokemon uh, that you can get. So there are certain Pokemon you cannot get as of right now until you finish the decks. Now, obviously, to finish the decks and to be able to do all this, you have to complete the game. So this is post games. So keep that in mind. I'm going to be going through the, uh, the list in a second here. So just be wary of spoilers if you don't want any spoilers which i'm sure you guys are probably already aware of most of the pokemon that are in here then click off the video that said if you do enjoy this video and found it useful and helpful be sure to leave it a like so other people can see it because youtube recommends it more when uh, people do that if you don't like it dislike it and tell me what you don't like so i can uh, make it better in the future so if you go to the pokedex here um you can actually see all the pokemon that you have and all the pokemon you're missing now, most of them you should have at least encountered at some point. Here's the crazy thing. You don't actually have to catch them all. You just have to see them all. So as you can see, uh, number 123, 24, 25, and 26, I have not caught. If there's a Pokeball next to it, it means you have, you've, you've caught it. Uh, you do not need to catch them all. Um, you can see the top middle section where it says I have 74 caught, but I have 147. So I'm only missing a few at the time of recording this. Now, if there's any in the list that you're missing, uh, I'm not going to go through every single one. Obviously, this video would be way too long. Um, but there's certain ones that are going to be missing no matter what. Uh, if, if any of these ones are missing, you can just look them up, look up where their locations are, and uh, you should be able to find them no problem. Now, there's a few that are very specific. So, for example, Yuxi, Mess Spirit, and 148, which I forget the name of, um, are very specific. So, for Mess Spirit, I'm actually already here. You have to go to the three lakes, okay? So, uh, the one for Mess Spirit is going to be over by uh, Twin Leaf, right? So, you got to go over, not there, that is not the map. Um, you're going to go to the bottom left corner, and it's going to be this lake here. Now, it is worth noting you're going to need a very certain um, uh, app, which if you don't have the app, you're going to get a little cutscene from Professor Rowan. He's going to tell you about it. You got to go to Jubilee City, and there is a um, there is the Pokétex Center that you got to go to, and you got to talk to the president in order to get this app. I think you can get it after the third gym, if I remember correctly. Um, so go ahead and do that. And... Um, I'm going to go here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pop a repel real quick just so no Pokemon bug me. But you're going to see uh, you're going to go to the lake and you're going to surf, right? So we're going to go over to the middle. This is basically what happened during the story, right? With uh, Team Galactic and the, there was the three Pokemon they were after. Well, the Pokemon are back at their cavern. So I actually already talked and interacted with this Pokemon. It's going to stand right here. Uh, but then you're going to need the special uh, app, which we're going to open up our Poke whatever this is called. I, I don't even know what this thing is called anymore. Um, right here. <clears throat> okay, so we can see it, and it's bouncing around. Okay, so I just realized that it's actually a map of, of si Sinnoh. Um, see, the first area I went to was uh, Route 211 in this cavern right here, which I didn't mean to go into again. Uh, it's like the Mount Coronet or whatever. I came around here, around Route 211. I just kind of traversed around here, but now you can see that it actually popped away again. Uh, so we're going to go to the town map here. Okay, so I finally found it, and I, I understand how exactly it works now. Um, I'll explain it to you guys in just a second. So all you got to basically do is is battle it. Um, I think you can actually run away if you technically want to, or you can just go ahead and defeat it or try to capture it or whatever. It's obviously the hard Pokemon to catch. I'm not really going to bother trying to catch it right now. I'm just going to go ahead and defeat it just to kind of get some XP and, uh, and whatnot. It was actually really, really tricky, but there is a trick I will give you guys to actually find this thing. This is probably going to be the worst one for you guys to actually get. But once you guys do, uh, you should be good to go. Let me just keep my old moves and all that. And you'll see it actually, it, sh it should add it to the Pokedex here. Um, so I'm actually going to go and show you guys for sure that it added it. And uh, right here, Mess Spirit, right there, see? Or Mess Spirit, which actually, wait, was it already there? I think it was actually already in the, the Pokedex before. Anyways, whatever. The point is, is that what I what I basically did is it, it jumps around location every single time that you you move location. So if you go right here by Valley Windworks and right here at Route 205 and you keep bouncing around and you pay attention to your, your map marking at the top and you pay attention to where it is, whenever it gets close to you, you can just walk over to where it is. Now, the way to find it is going through the grass, and in order to make sure that you don't end up encountering any other wild Pokemon in the grass, uh, just use like a repel or something, and then you search the grass, and then it'll it'll pop up just like a normal wild Pokemon, but you won't encounter a wild Pokemon, uh, not like this. It'll just be Mesprit. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Anyways, let's move on because that was way too tedious. 
Okay, so for Uxi, uh, we're going to go up here to uh, Ac Acuity, Lakefront, SUD. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyways, go to Snowpoint City. And from Snowpoint City, follow my route right here. We're going to go down, not that way. Sorry, it was right down in the middle of the trees. I always get that mixed up for whatever reason. We're going to head up here. We're going to go over down here. Hopefully, you don't find any wild Pokemon. Uh, let's just take a shortcut up here. Okay, I went and bought some Max Repel, so as I was saying, from here we're going to continue down along this tree line. We're going to go up here, over here. I mean, I'm sure you guys know these locations, but just for thoroughness, we're going to pop into this water here to surf. Um, and we're going to head over to the middle section here. Now, I've actually already encountered it, because I did so off, off video before I started recording this video. But, uh, you'll, I'll show you guys exactly where it spawns anyway. So it's going to spawn right in the middle here. Uh, it's not here right now because I already scared it away. I don't know how to respawn it, but basically it's just going to be here. You're going to go up, press A to interact with it, and that's pretty much it. Now we can move on to the next one. Okay, for the third one, Azel, for however you pronounce it, we got to go to Valor Lakefront. So we are going to go all the way down from Veilstone City. We're going to head south right down this route. I'll show you guys exactly what to do. You can uh, obviously hop on your bike uh, if you would like to to make things go a little bit quicker, even though the bike... Never mind. Not quicker. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am an idiot. Forget that. Forget the bike. The bike is pointless. Clearly, this guy's going to fight. Okay, hold on. As I was saying, let's go down here. Don't go where Jamal is because uh, you don't want to fight him. It's kind of annoying. And uh, we're going to head... Oh my gosh, I went the wrong way again. Please learn from my mistakes. We're going to go down here. And we are getting there. Slowly but surely. Yes, please do use another Max Repel. It is right here. This little kind of, I guess, cut, cut away in, in the forest. We're going to go here into the water. <laughs> Hopefully nothing else prevents us. We're going to go to the middle, just like every other lake. Right here. And we're going to pop in here and hopefully no surprises. No, hey, I'm going to make you chase me around and all that jazz. Go up to it. Press A to interact and the battle will start. That's it. Catch it if you want. Defeat it if you want. I don't care. It doesn't matter. All you got to do is basically interact with it and it'll now be in the decks and we can continue. Okay, so if we go to the bottom of our decks here, you can see I have Dialga at uh, number 149. Now, depending whether you're playing, you know, Diamond or Pearl, it's going to depend which one you have, right? Whether you have uh, Dialga or um, what's it called? I'm drawing a blank on the Pearl one, but it's this one right here, the Pearl one, okay? Uh, I forget the name. Anyways, you can actually find it very easily. You don't have to trade it with anyone or anything. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the town map. You're going to head over to Celestic Town. You're going to go into this house right here, the kind of big top middle house. You're going to go talk to, what's her name's uh, grandma, Cynthia's grandma. Uh, she's going to talk. She did research. She found a shrine book. It's quite old. See it for yourself. And bada bing, bada boom, shows you the other Pokemon right there. Uh, Palkia. There you go. That's what it was called. Palkia. I drew a blank. So, just like that, right? We didn't actually technically see it, right? Not in person, but, but, right there. It's in my Pokedex. And if you look at the top, I have now 149 out of 151. Now, you may be wondering, hey, dude, aren't you missing like two more? Yes, I am. So, one of them. Uh, is Burmy, 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 okay? Uh, now, Burmy is a little bit of a pain. So, the way Burmy works is there's these honey trees, right? Uh, scattered all over across the region. They basically have yellow leaves. I think, is there one here? Yeah, there's one right here. So, you go up to the honey tree. You basically push A at it. You push A at it, and it'll ask you if you want to lather honey on it. You click yes, and at that point, you have six hours to wait. You have to wait six hours until anything pops up, and even then, it's only a chance. It's only just a chance for for the the Burmy to pop up. That's the one I'm missing, um, personally. And that's the only one that is probably going to be a little bit of a pain, or you can just trade it with someone if they have it, find someone who has it. Uh, so you got to wait six hours, but here's the kicker. Apparently, if you wait longer than 24 hours, the Pokemon is not going to be there any longer. It's just going to be it's going to be gone, which is uh, a pain. So make sure you you keep track of when you've lathered honey on these trees. There's a bunch of them all over the place. Um, I don't know every single location, to be honest with you guys. It would 
take way too long uh, to show you every single location just for a Burmy. But you can literally just go to this tree right here uh, or you go to whatever one. Um, there's one, I believe, over on route. Uh, where was it now? So it's on route uh, 222. There's actually a few different uh, places you could do this. There's Valley Windworks, route 222, 221, 218, 215, 214, 213, 212, 211, 210. Those are all the different locations. Uh, the spawn rate's not great. It's like a, apparently a 5% spawn rate. I think it says that it ha it's, it's uncommon. Daytime, uh, apparently 5, 5 to 20%. Uh, during the daytime. So I lathered this one right here. Um, but unfortunately, you have to wait till daytime. And in case you're wondering, no, you can't change the internal clock on the switch the way you did on Sword and Shield. Because if you do, there's kind of like a little bit of a, 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 I forget what the word is, I guess a protection where there's like a 24 hour window where you'd have to wait. So it just, it wouldn't work. So I lathered honey on here and you can see the bark is slathered with honey, but there's nothing that spawned yet. And I've already actually waited like two, three hours before you know, recording this. So I have to wait a little bit longer. And quite frankly, I have to wait till the morning because I'm recording this at nighttime for it to show up. So I can't show you that, you guys, that showing up, but basically you just go check it after six hours and make sure it's during the daytime and you should be good to go. 5% uh, spawn rate, you might get unlucky. You might have to do it again, wait another six hours and it's a very tedious one. Uh, there's only one other one that I gotta let you guys know about and it's also tedious. So let's, let's do that one next. So head to Flora Roma Town, go down Route 205, continue down over here to Valley Windworks, and right here, where I'm standing, roughly, maybe in the grass, but around here, if it's Friday, there will be a drift loon here. Now, unfortunately, it is not Friday. Uh, I don't know why on earth they would make a Pokemon that you need to complete your decks spawn only on one day of the week, but apparently it only spawns on Friday, which is incredibly incredibly stupid in my opinion so at the time of recording this it is painfully currently sunday i just missed friday the game just came out and um by two days obviously i wasn't uh, i didn't i didn't even realize that was a thing and now that i realize it's a thing i gotta wait like another five six days just to just to finish my, my decks unless i can find someone who already has it and they can just you know trade it to me real quick but that's probably a little bit slim since the game just came out. So if you do, by the way, there's a honey tree here as well. Uh, if you guys want, um, you can go slather it with honey. That's another location. Uh, so you could do that and that, you know, that could spawn it. The more, by the way, the more trees you, you slather with honey, the more chances you got, right? So I'm going to slather that one too. And by the morning time, I have two trees to check. Okay, very nice. So yeah, Drift Loon would spawn here on Fridays. So make sure you keep track. Come here on Friday. All you got to do is interact with it. Very, very simple. It's going to be here. It's going to be here. It's just, again, can't change the internal clock because that's not how this game works. Not like Sword and Shield. Very annoying, very stupid, and that's pretty much it. So that's how you complete your Pokedex, my friends. Um, there's not really much else to say. Like all the other ones, most of these you're going to encounter throughout your playthrough anyways. And like I said, any of the other ones that I haven't mentioned, if you haven't encountered them, then um, basically just you sh you should be able to but there's a lot of them that you can encounter in the underground cavern uh in all those different areas and stuff uh you can just look up online real quick you know where to find a certain one if you don't know for for example if you haven't uh found cherub cher cherubi however, however you pronounce it uh you just look up oh where do i find it which by the way uh you can find it in the underground caverns uh in some of the rooms so uh, a lot of them are found there just you know explore th those areas and uh interact with different pokemon down there and you should basically be good to go up Otherwise. So here's a kicker my friends. I'm uh, editing this in post and um, I just completed my deck So I want to show you guys exactly what happens. I'll show you guys exactly that I did complete it Basically, I went on the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Reddit I posted on there that I needed a Burmy because I thought I needed a Burmy, but it was actually Wormadam uh, You see I have 151 then I joined the the uh, discord and on the discord I ended up finding someone who uh, traded me uh, Drift Loon. So shout out to Fredinator on the uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Discord. And then Coco Roxas over on Reddit got me the Wormadam. We did a touch trade. I did uh, Drift Loon for Wormadam. So it all worked out. We got a complete dex now. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to turn it in. I'll show you guys exactly what happens. And I'm really glad that we get to end this video like this. I actually almost posted this video. It was uploaded. It was tagged. It was titled. It was all ready to go. I was just about to post uh, post the video, and then this happened, so I'm re-editing it, tossing this in at the end of the video, so you guys can see. Oh my goodness, it's Professor Oak. 
Uh, it's been a long time. I'll tell you, uh, Sinnoh certainly has a long trip from Kanto. Of course, if it means meeting new Pokemon, there's no uh, distance too great for likes of us to travel. Uh, oh, his old colleague. I actually skipped that. I should have expected. Yes. Okay. We've always used a joke where there are Pokemon, you'll find Oak. It's good to see that that hasn't changed one bit. That's pretty sick, man. Okay. I see, I'm really excited because now we got we got access to a lot more Pokemon. Uh, Professor Oakland introduced you to my young assistant. This youngster has filled every page with a Sino, Sino Pokedex for me. Uh, very glad to meet you. As you've heard, my name is Oak. I've been hearing a great deal about you. He's been exuberant in praise. Uh, see that you live up to know that you've surpassed his praise. Uh, impeccable sense of timing. Had an errand to run for Professor Ronin. He asked me to bring the data for the National Pokedex. Okay. Uh, let me upgrade your decks with the National. There you go. There are many kinds in this world. So, now we got the National mode that has been uh, uh, upgraded. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex. However, I'm sure you'll make an honest attempt on our behalf. 100%. Have no fear, Josh. We'll get the job done. By the way, Professor Oak, you compelled... Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Ramnus. Okay, so now we got uh, Ramnus Park um, is now open. If I remember correctly, it's at the end of Route 221. Uh, Ramnus Park has a special system that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokemon from every region. I've come to make certain that system is operating properly. So we've got Ramnus Park uh, that we're going to have access to as well now. Uh, so we're going to do that. I'm actually going to keep that for a different video because this video has already been really, really long. We're going to keep this just to help you guys out with the Pokedex and uh, keep that for a different one. Um, because this is also tagging on a, a, an extra little... Oh, wait, we got a reward. Oh, Poker Radar. Okay, that's going to be super helpful. Because that... So now we, we get to see, like, the grass basically shake and what. It'll indicate uh, grass patches where Pokemon are, are lurking. Um, which is going to be super helpful. Now we can get Ditto. We can get Eevee. We can, we can get a bunch of stuff that is going to be super, super helpful into breeding and, and all that good stuff. So... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, my friends. I'm glad that we got to finish this up here and uh, all that good stuff. I believe this, uh, no, that's Pokemon League. Where, I don't know where route. Oh, is this the resort area? He said it's at the end of 228. Is that, isn't that what he said? So I believe it's probably down here. Ravenous Park is probably right there. Anyways, we'll do that in a different video. So we uh, did it. Try adventuring all over uh, Sinnoh region. That's basically all it says. So we've uh, completed the decks. You can see. 151 is now a lot more. There's, uh, we have 164. So it, it automatically upgraded because we, we've seen a bunch now. Uh, so for example, uh, Clefairy, Clefable, Zubats, right? They're all part of the, the national decks. Uh, Pikachu, which we just passed here. Pikachu and Raichu, which I don't know why Pichu is not there. Pichu should be there, I would assume. Uh, so this is the national decks, which has a lot of Pokemon, as you can see. So instead of 151, we have obviously the 151 part of this, uh, actually, but it goes all the way up to, what is it, like four something? Five? Almost five. No, it is five. 490. 490. It goes up to 490, which is absolute insanity. So that's the National Dex. We got a lot of work uh, ahead of us, so we better get working. Hope you guys enjoyed this video again, especially for ending it with this. If you did... Like I said, leave it a like for so uh, other people can see it and stick around for more because we got a lot more Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl content for you guys. Till the next one, game on, and thanks for watching.